incredible people. Got to know a lot of the heads of those colleges. They do an unbelievable job and don't get the kind of notoriety that they should have. We expanded affordable options for better health care. We created opportunity zones with Senator Tim Scott. He brought it to me. We didn't know if we could get it past him, right? But we got it passed, and I think it's probably one of the great things that we've done in this administration. Tens of thousands of jobs, billions and billions of dollars being brought into areas and neighborhoods that would never, ever, ever be taken care of monetarily. Areas that didn't have 10 cents put them in them for years and decades. And now people are investing, thriving, and the jobs have come back. We achieved the lowest Black, Hispanic, and Asian unemployment rates in American history. And we will do it again. We'll do it again. We're fighting for school choice, which really is the civil rights of all time in this country. Frankly, school choice is the civil rights statement of the year, of the decade, and probably beyond, because all children have to have access to quality education. A child's zip code in America should never determine their future, and that's what was happening. So we're very, very strong on school choice, and I hope everybody remembers that. And it's happening. It's already happened, but it's happening. We have tremendous opposition from people that know they shouldn't be opposing it. School choice. All children deserve equal opportunity because we are all made equal by God. So true. A great jobs market and thriving economy is probably the best thing that we can do to help the Black, Hispanic, Asian communities. We saw that just recently prior to the virus that came in from China just a few months ago. What a horrible thing it was all over the world, 188 countries now. And I just want to say we've done incredibly well. We're doing well. Things are happening that nobody can even believe. Our country is opening up, and it's opening up rapidly. We had the best unemployment and employment. We had best unemployment and employment numbers. Think of that. In the history of our country, we're up to almost 160 million people working. There was never anything even close. And that's for almost every group, including Black, Hispanic, Asian, women, young people, old people, young people without a high school diploma. Every group. Everybody was thrilled. Everybody had just about high-paying jobs. Our country was never in a better position, and we were planning on massive growth. It was happening. It was already there, including big salary increases, which were already taking place for the last two and a half years. Big, big increases, record increases. Nobody's seen anything like it. And then we got hit by the virus, along with the rest of the world, and now I'm building it up again. Here we go again. But I'm building it up again, and it's moving fast. And it will be even better than before, because we also learned it will be better than before. Jobs are rapidly coming back. And retail sales that were just announced two hours ago, just a little while ago, they're up a staggering 17.7 percent. Amazing. The projection was anywhere from 6 to 8 percent. We're up 17.7 percent. And what does that mean? The stock market went through the roof. These good numbers, they drove it up to a level that we're almost at the same level. Hard to believe. We're getting very close to the level we were before the pandemic and before all of the things that you've seen happen happened. It's a great thing, because ultimately, it's about jobs. It's about the government can never do anything like a great job for a person, where they look forward to getting up in the morning and going to work and getting a much bigger check than they could ever get otherwise. Today and over the last 60 days, we've had one of the biggest stock market increases 
in the history of the stock markets. And two weeks ago, the 50-day increase was the single biggest. Unless my formula is tampered with, we will soon be in a stronger position than we were before the plague came in from China. When the numbers reach the point that I know they will, there will again be a great unity and a great spirit in our country. People will have that job back that they might have lost. They'll be making even more money than they did before. We have some brilliant people working with me, and we put it together. We did it once, and we're very easily doing it again. We're way ahead of schedule. You'll see that. You'll see the third quarter numbers will be very good. You'll see fourth quarter will be really good, and you'll see next year will be one of the best economic years this country has ever had. And it's all happening very quickly, way ahead of schedule. And I think you'll see that. People can't even believe what they're looking at. But on top of all of that, before the end of the year, I predict we will have a very successful vaccine, therapeutic, and cure. We're making tremendous progress. I deal with these incredible scientists, doctors, very, very closely. I have great respect for their minds. And uh, they have come up with things. And they've come up with many other cures and therapeutics over the years. These are the people, the best, the smartest, the most brilliant anywhere. And they've come up with uh, the AIDS vaccine. They've come up with, or the AIDS, and the, as you know, there's various things. And now various companies are involved. But the therapeutic for AIDS, AIDS was a death sentence. And now people live a life with a pill. It's an incredible thing. The Ebola vaccine and others, these are the people that have done it, or these are the people that have been around it. And they're all competing. It's an incredible thing. All of these brilliant firms, labs, companies are competing. And I will tell you, we're very far advanced. We've already started tests and trials. So I think we're going to have a very, very good answer to that very, very soon. I always say, even without it, it goes away. But if we had the vaccine, and we will, if we had therapeutic or cure, one thing sort of blends into the other, it will be a fantastic day. And I think that's going to happen, and it's going to happen very soon. Americans can achieve anything when we work together as one national family. To go forward, we must seek cooperation, not confrontation. We must build upon our heritage, not tear it down. And we must cherish the principles of America's founding as we strive to deliver safe, beautiful, elegant justice and liberty for all. I'd like now to invite our great friends, because they are our great friends from law enforcement, the officers representing their groups, to come up as I sign a very important executive order. And we're asking uh, Mitch and Tim and all of the people that are here from Congress to go back and see if they can get something done. I see uh, Louie and Jim, Jim Jordan. We're all, all here. A lot of our representatives from Congress and the Senate if they can go back and add to what we're signing today, it'll be, it'll be a big moment. It'll be a big moment. But this is a tremendous step. This is a step that could have been taken years ago, but people chose not to do that. And that was, in my opinion, a big mistake. Could have solved a lot of the problems that we have now. So if I could, uh, law enforcement, if you could come forward. We've had the uh, — please come up. We've had the endorsement of the Federal Law Enforcement Officers Association the Fraternal Order of Police, International Association of Chiefs of Police, International Union of Police Associations, Major County Sheriffs of America Association, National Association of Police Organizations, National District Attorneys Association, National Sheriffs Association, Sergeants Benevolent Association, 
and many others. They've uh, worked on this with me and my team. It's been fantastic. I want to thank my team. What a team it is. And we've taken very much into mind what they are saying, because these are the people that keep us safe. And they've done an incredible job. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there a systemic racism in policing, sir?